Hey there, it's Mediette, and I am back as promised. Yesterday, I left you with a truth bomb, and that truth bomb is that it's not him. And I wanted to use today to explain a little bit more about what I mean. So, most of the time when clients come to me, they come with a lot of... Um, blaming and judging of their partner. So things aren't going well in their relationship and they really can't understand why their partner is doing, being, saying in the way that he is, even when they're clarifying what they want from them. And what I'm here to tell you is that as long as we focus on what's wrong with him and how he he needs to be doing something differently than what he's doing. The focus on really creating the change that you want and the growth that you're actually being confronted with for yourself is not being um, taken advantage of. So yes, we can find all kinds of reasons to back up why he's wrong and what needs, how he needs to change. And if he doesn't change, that's not enough. Um, and, and yes, you absolutely can do that, but the thing is it actually won't get you to where you want to go. So I think the first thing in a relationship, when you find yourself noticing the pattern of blaming him or her, whoever that might be, is to notice that you are triggered, something has set you off, and then to take that opportunity to turn it to yourself. So this is what I mean by, by it's not him, because really any challenges in relationships are pointing it back for you to have some growth. And that might mean leaving the relationship, um, but it also might mean that there's some need that you want met, that you're relying on your partner to meet for you, and they can't do it. And you need to find a way to, to meet that need through some other means that you're in control of. So we're not in control of our partners. We're not in control of what they will give us or won't give us. We can ask them. But they might not be able to be giving us what we need for ourselves. So the biggest piece of what I talk about in relationships is to turn any trigger back towards you to get the gift of growth that this trigger is giving you. You're only triggered because it's something inside of you that is not okay with what's going on. And um, more than anything, Relationships will give us this opportunity again and again and again because we are particularly with a person because we have picked them to help us deal with the old wounding that we haven't yet dealt with and it will bring forward what we need to work on. So we can, if we can just shift relationship challenges from maybe I picked the wrong person or he needs to change so this works to here's I'm triggered fascinating good to know what does this mean for me and how can I grow and learn from what I'm what I'm being triggered about today so I'm going to continue to talk about this all month if you have any questions about it please let me know and I can answer as best as I can thanks for joining me and we will talk to you soon bye